Today, the FBI conducted an improvised explosive device training at Camp Dawson in Preston County. Marissa Matola got a close up look at today's exercise. She takes us behind the scenes for more. If police officers find a grainy white powder at a makeshift lab and assume they've made a drug bust, they could be making an explosive mistake. Three, two, one. And many of the chemicals that can be utilized to make improvised explosives are often confused with drugs and other. Uh, what we would call inert chemicals that could not be used to make improvised explosives. The FBI trains thousands of law enforcement officials along with military personnel across the country to identify, disrupt and dismantle improvised explosive devices. The top priority for the FBI is preventing another attack in the United States. Uh, any kind of terrorist attack is unacceptable and we work diligently and thoroughly to prevent those attacks from happening. Three, two, one. So obviously we want to identify uh, individuals and organizations that are targeting the United States and United States interests, but we also want to ensure that we are properly training and informing our local law enforcement, our interagency partners, which includes Department of Defense and the Armed Forces in general, in addition to our foreign partners that we work with around the world. Many of the improvised explosive devices on display Thursday were created using an assortment of everyday household chemicals. So part of that education and training involves ensuring that they are able to recognize the different chemicals which can be combined and utilized to make improvised explosives which then combined with other materials make improvised explosive devices or bombs. For 12 News in Preston County, I'm Marissa Matola.